Uh, we've been striking over the last four days um, regarding um, detrimental changes to our pension scheme. Uh, unfortunately, we're in a position today where if you live in or work in Northern Ireland, Scotland or Wales, you will be getting a better pension than in England. The government uh, had been negotiating with us. We were told that they would uh, look at any proposals that were within a designated cost ceiling. We gave them those proposals and they've walked away from the negotiating table. And that's why Firefighters England are striking today. Uh, we think it's unfair. Um, um, we hope that they'll come back to the negotiating table. Um, we've shown that um, it is possible to reach a fair deal on pensions for firefighters in other parts of the UK. Why can't they do it in England? My name is Mike Tully. I'm Brigade Secretary for the Fire Brigade Union in Gloucestershire. And how's it been being on strike over the last year, but especially in the last few days? Um, it's unsettling. It's really unsettling because obviously we don't really have much control over the situation. Um, the talks uh, should go ahead. Uh, the government is saying they're coming to the table and they're just not coming to the table. Uh, and so we don't know really what's going to happen next. We just want to go forward trying to resolve this. Okay, we've had support from the public, lots of beats and what have you, and people actually come to talk with us, engage with us to find out more about it because ignorance is a big thing. Um, the press, the media aren't really telling the full story if they actually know about it. Um, lots of people are under the misapprehension that we're we, we want pay rise in this. It's nothing to do with that. It's just to protect the pension that we pay into every month and hopefully there'll be something there when we get to retire. Um, I'm on strike at the moment due to unreasonable changes being made to our terms and conditions considering our pensions. And what's it been like being on strike over the past year and especially in the last few days? Um, well, it's never fun. Uh, nobody likes losing money, but we do feel we have to make a point. Uh, we signed up to a certain deal and we think that deal should be honoured to the end. Um, we've had a lot of support from the public, so that's all been good. Um, we're just going to stick it out to the end, really. Uh, they need to come back to the table. They've, the Scottish governments, the Welsh governments and the Northern Ireland um, governments have all got on the table. They've come to amicable agreements and things are being sorted out there. There's no reason why it can't be sorted out in England as well. Um, I'm uh, Rob Cook, uh, firefighter at Stroud Fire Station. The, the dispute started um, in September last year um, due to detrimental changes that were proposed to pension schemes uh, in the UK. As a result of that, in Scotland, if you retire before the age of 60, uh, you won't see any reduction in your pension. In Wales, you will see a slight reduction and in Ireland it was accepted that firefighters should be able to retire from the age of 55. Currently in England, if you're not fit enough to maintain your fitness up until the age of 60, you will face either the sack or losing approximately 24-25% of your pension, a lot worse than anywhere else in the UK. The government told us that they would accept uh, proposals within a cost ceiling and they've now walked away from that agreement, leaving firefighters in England with a, with a much worse pension than anywhere else within the United Kingdom. He was like, yeah, we're going. I've got a bloke that's mad. Give him a man a man. Um, um, last few days we've stepped up doing actual pickets to really get the message out to the public. Um, obviously we all appreciate that the public are having loads of cuts as well. Um, 
but it's the unfairness and outrage that the uh, politicians have just helped themselves to pay rises and changing their own conditions and they just seem to be able to get away with it. I'm on strike really to um, try and get the government to realise that what they're asking us to do or implement is totally unfair. Um, to be working as a firefighter into your 60s is just unreasonable uh, and also cuts in our pension mean that um, at the end of my pension we'll just lose such a horrendous amount of money. It actually equates to around £100,000. My name is um, Abby Handley, I'm a firefighter at Strife Fire Station, I've been here, uh, it's my 15th year now. Firefighters are prepared to work till they're 60, provided that if they're not fit enough to carry out the role of an operational firefighter, they would be redeployed into a non-operational role. And this was the case when pension changes were made back in 2006-2007. Now we've been told there are no non-operational jobs and therefore you face a sack or taking a heavily reduced pension early. Um, the government's own report on fitness highlighted that potentially two-thirds of firefighters would not be able to maintain their fitness to 60 and therefore two-thirds of firefighters in the UK face having to retire early because they cannot maintain that fitness standard. This will make it more unsafe for firefighters and the public expecting people beyond the age of 55 to actually go into buildings and res rescue people. It's unsafe and it's not right and the government's own report on fitness shows this to be the case. On strike this time to get a pension that's achievable that um, allows us to actually pay in and get something out of it rather than um, not achieve it because we're not fit enough, just because we're too old. And what's it been like being out on Stroud this, this time round? It's been solid here in Stroud. It's, it's been, the morale's been quite high. The public support has been brilliant. Um, we've got so many people passing by. They bring us food. We've had donations to the hardship friends. Uh, right on cue. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the good people of Stroud have, um, have really, once they understand the issues, um, they've been behind us. We're still here. As long as we've got a brace here, we're happy. Yeah. We feel like we've made great gains in Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales. For some reason, Westminster I think it's pretty politically driven. They hate trade unions and they hate the public sector. Um, this is not about fairness, this is about the governments that won't listen to the working class people of this country. We're asking for government in Westminster and we're lobbying MPs and councillors to get back to the negotiation table. You made us a promise that you'd accept proposals within a cost ceiling, come back to the negotiation table, otherwise, unfortunately, this dispute can only escalate, and we're solid in that, the fact that we will stay together until they meet our demands. Um, I'm Chris Moore, coordinator of Stroud Against Cuts, and member of the Gloucester Socialist Party. I not only support this action that firefighters are taking, but I support any future action they have to take as well. I think they'll have to escalate action to beat this government, so I support not only this action, but any future action they have to take. I would urge the government to recognise what we do and the commitment that we give uh, to the public. This is still a job for me, this does still pay my mortgage and it is my future retirement. Uh, in recognising what we do, we're asking the government to come back and reach a decent settlement. If it can be settled in Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland, why on earth is this government forcing us to take this action? And what's it been like being on strike over the past year, but particularly in the last few days? It's very depressing. Uh, uh, none of us want to do this. Uh, we think we deserve a good deal uh, and, and what I find annoying is when we get the media and uh, chief officers saying that striking isn't the way. Well, I'd like to ask them what is the way. 
We've reached the stage now, as far as we're concerned, we've got no other choice. There is no other avenue for us to go to. Uh, so if anybody else has uh, got any bright ideas, then uh, I'm sure we'd like to hear them. But the government aren't listening, and they are forcing us out on strike. Our only, when people say this isn't the way, the only other way is to accept the absolutely diabolical deal that is on the table. And we just can't do that. We're striking for the guys and the, and the firefighters for the future uh, because the pension means they're going to have to work for their uh, 60 now. And if they can't reach uh, the fitness standard, they could face uh, being sacked or having a, a, a very big redu reduction in their pension. It's not fair. Firefighters do a dangerous job. They deserve recognition. We pay, o we pay over 200 to 300 pound a month in pension contributions. It is a good pension, but we do pay for it. Hey, I'm Phil Jordan, I'm a firefighter in Gloucestershire and I'm based at Sirencester. Do I support the firemen? Oh yes, most assuredly. Firemen you need. TV celebrities you don't. Hey, I live in Stroud and I support the fire strike. David Drew, Labour and Cooperative, prospective parliamentary candidate for Stroud, totally in support of the FBU. I think they've been abysmally treated. And I don't understand why, at this stage, the government doesn't just settle. I'm Laura and I live in Stroud and I support the fire strike. Jeff Close, resident of Stroud. But I see firefighting as mutualism. It's us looking after ourselves. It's us looking after us. And um, they're skilled, dedicated persons. Um, I'm in favour of getting a rise. I'm in favour of the strike. I'm Anna Benalek. I am agent for Stroud Parliamentary candidate for the Green Party, Christopher Jockel. I'm totally in support of the strike action and hope that firefighters in England get the same deal as their peers in the rest of the UK. Hi, I'm Sue and I support the fire strike. I'm Alex from Stroud and I support the fire strike. Hi, I'm Hannah Basson. Um, I'm a coordinator for Stroud Against the Cuts. I work for the NHS and I'm the equalities officer for the Gloucester Health Branch for Unite the Union. We will be supporting the Fire Brigade Union in their strike action and NHS workers will also be striking later on this month over similar issues to changes to pay. We're from Stroud and we support the firefighters' strike. I'm James Beach. I'm a volunteer coordinator of Stroud Against Cuts and a member of the Solidarity Federation. And I think we need a good fire and rescue service. And I think that having a good fire and rescue service means we need to uh, treat fire and rescue workers properly. That means paying them properly, it means giving them decent terms and conditions, and it means ensuring that they have a proper pension so that when they retire they can be comfortable. The old trade union motto that an injury to one is an injury to all is true and that if pensions in the fire service are attacked that won't be just be a detriment to workers in the fire and rescue service but it will be a detriment to the service itself and that will affect all of us. Not only will it make the service worse in the present but by cutting pensions and cutting the number of staff working in the fire service through kind of forcing redundancies through the fitness tests that will make the service more attractive to private companies that want to take it over and make a profit out of it. And that will of course bring all sorts of other negative consequences. And it also affects all of us in terms of the, the work that we do. When the government attacks uh, fire and rescue workers, if they win, then it will make it that much harder for all of us to stand up and defend our pay, our terms and conditions, our pensions. So the attack on um, the pensions of fire and rescue workers affects people in both the public and the private sector. It might be your local firemen now, but it could be your family, your friends, or you that's next. Some people worry about strike action, they see the temporary effect on the provision of a service, but it's actually a really useful tool for depend, defending that service in the long term. As workers, the people who allow society to function, 
withdrawing our labour and stopping that society from functioning for a bit is a very powerful way of sending a message. That's why Stroud Against the Cuts is supporting not just the strike action that took place recently by the Fire Brigade's Union, but further strike action by that union and the strike action that's scheduled to happen on November 24th with members of the GMB, United Union, Unison, the Royal College of Midwives and other workers in the NHS coming out. Please support them by popping along to their local picket line, perhaps with a packet of biscuits or something, show your support. For more information, you can see stroudagainstcuts.co.uk. Our message to anybody that works in a workplace is to join a trade union, become active and actually take some responsibility for maintaining and improving your paying conditions because nobody else will do it for you. Stay together, stay strong, join a union. If people want more information if they look at the Fibre Gears Union website and um, if you're passionate about this issue, we'd encourage people to lobby their local MP uh, or councillor and ask them why they think it's acceptable that the firefighters in England should get a worse pension than those in other parts of the United Kingdom. <laughs>